You can learn a lot about Helen Machek from this brief interaction between her and her physical therapist, Jean. Come on, I want my four minutes. I just do it to six minutes. All right, go six. The 14-year-old from music isn't afraid of much. Oh, she'll throw her crutches. <laughs> like, I, I've, got, I've got this to hold on to. While that fearlessness might scare mom Karen sometimes, she knows better than anyone. Trying to stop her daughter from trying something challenging is a losing battle. Can you make the door? Do yes. Check? You I'm can. gonna make the door. You're gonna make the door. Oh, oh, Helen oh, has got spice and then some. Um, and if Helen wants to do something, there is no stopping Helen. So it's us helping her figure out a way to get there. Yeah. Jean Friendman oh, yeah. has been helping Helen do just that since she was a baby. Helen was born with a rare genetic condition called sacral agenesis. Her spine didn't develop properly, severely limiting her mobility. But Helen views those limitations as mere suggestions. When she was first born, doctors told her mom she might never be able to sit up, let alone stand or walk. She really doesn't like the idea of anybody looking at her and saying, oh, poor her, because she doesn't look at it that way. She looks at it as, I, I have wheels, I can go where I want to go. I'm learning how to do things that are really, really challenging. I get to do things that I didn't think I'd ever get to do. And Helen will get to show off some of those things at the Team Allied Services 5K and All Abilities Walk this weekend. She'll be joined by plenty of other patients and residents of Allied, a rehab facility for kids and adults with disabilities. Many will work all year long to achieve a milestone at the race. At Helen's first All Abilities Walk, she was only able to walk a few feet before finishing the lap in her wheelchair. A few years later, she took a lap around the entire track. But her goals go beyond Veterans Memorial Stadium in Scranton. Just like any other high school freshman, Helen wants to go to college, drive a car, and eventually live on her own. At this point, Helen's already talking about wanting to become an architect so that she can design living spaces for people who have disabilities. You can celebrate Helen's progress along with all of the participants in the All Abilities Walk this Saturday morning. The details are on WNEP.com. Elizabeth Worthington, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.